I very much apologize. My phone is not wanting to record this whole lesson. So you get three videos. All right. Talking about the bow. Talking about what's this called? The frog. The frog. So what you want to do is take your left thumb, or excuse me, your right thumb, <laughs> and you want to put it right here where the frog is. Okay. okay. And then you kind of just <clears throat> want to drape your fingers over so that they're nice and relaxed with your pinky on the top. Nice and rounded. Here, I'll turn it around so you can see. Nice and rounded. Okay. okay. So you see how my fingers aren't really tight or tense? Yeah. They are really relaxed. Now, what do you notice about my thumb? It is on the inside. Yeah. What do you notice about the position of it? Is it straight? Is it bent? Is it relaxed? Is it tight? Slightly bent. Yeah. Does it look tight? No. No. One of the tendencies that you will you will have is that you will want to put your thumb like this. It'll feel like you have more control. But what's going to happen is that you are going to have more tension up through here. Okay? There we go. You're going to have more tension up through here, which is going to create problems later on for you. Okay? So try and keep your thumb as relaxed as possible. All right? So what I did, let's look at that again. I put my thumb near the frog and I just drape my fingers over and curl my pinky. All right? I want you to try that. Wonderful. How does that feel? Pretty good. Pretty good. Wonderful. So now what I want you to do is I want you to hold the bow straight up and down. I want you to go up. Watch the fan. Go up. <laughs> I want you to go up. I want you to go down. Now I want you to turn to the side. Wonderful. I want you to go over. I want you to go over. I want you to go up. I want you to go down. And now I want you to do windshield wipers. I want you to go over, 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 over. Wonderful. So, one thing you want to keep in mind when you're using the bow is to use your entire arm. Not just this part, not just this part. You want to use your entire arm all the way back and in here. Okay? All right, so when you're playing violin, I'm gonna show you, you wanna use your entire arm. Okay, now this is this is extreme. You're not gonna do this while you're playing. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so you wanna be nice and relaxed. Now there's an exercise that you can do to build up that strength and it's called spider. Have you ever done this before? I've never played the violin. Then so. no. So no. <laughs> no. Okay, so you're gonna crawl up the violin. And by the violin I mean the bow. The bow. <laughs> you're gonna go all the way to the top. I can't do this very well yet either. And then you're gonna come back down. Okay? So I want you to try that at home oh. when you're practicing, okay? So now what we're gonna do is at, just at the end here, we're going to take our bow and we're going to draw it across the string so that you can hear what that's going to sound like. Please pick up the violin and show me how you are going to position it. <clears throat> oh gosh. That looks beautiful. How do you feel? Good. Good. Now. Remember how we hold the bow. Wonderful. Now I want to hear if you can make a sound on that violin. Oh gosh. Can you play another string? How about another one? And the last one. That was beautiful. Thank you. Okay. So that's how you make a sound on the violin. Next time we'll learn about fingers and we'll learn about, uh, we'll learn a little bit more about bowing and we'll learn some stuff. So how do you feel about what we've learned today? Pretty solid. Like I was telling you on the phone when you called for a lesson, the first one's kind of boring just because we have to learn all of the important stuff that make, that make it easy to play the violin. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay.